This is Joe Wayne with the Anti Cointel Pro Show and InstinctForSurvival.com. Beyonce. Oh my gosh, there she goes again. There she goes again, folks. Uh, I don't know if you have seen the um, lead article in Drudge this morning yet. Uh, I know Alex Jones has because he is just uh, in a tizzy about Beyonce Knowles and her new video that is directing all of our young daughters because as you know, the pop diva that is controlled by Jay-Z directly, not by the Illuminati, not by the Illuminati, not by the Illuminati. Get it straight, folks. No. Jay-Z doesn't work for the Illuminati. He works for the Freemasons. And his weaponized drone, his weaponized entertainment drone, we know as Beyonce Knowles, is doing the dirty work for the Freemasons as directed by her husband, Jay-Z. Well, if you don't believe me, maybe you'll believe um, this K-pop star's article that delineates Jay-Z's Illuminati connections. And if you don't believe K-pop, well, maybe you will believe your lying eyes. Here is a picture of Jay-Z looking dead at the camera as he, he is in one of his meetings with the uh, black Freemasons, okay? And he is one of the stars of black Freemasonry. Now, I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen Jay-Z with the uh, jacket on it that says, do what thou wilt, right? Now, that jacket and that saying comes from another star, superstar of Freemasonry. And I'm sure a lot of you um, really think of this guy as being a, um, a Satanist, as being part of the Illuminati, but no, nothing could be further from the truth. Aleister Crowley, just like Jay-Z, was a Freemason star. Here's one of his famous quotes. Um, it's actually the quote that um, Jay-Z loves to, um, you know, put in the face of the world because these uh, Freemasons are really, really arrogant with their um, lies and their deception and with their, um, you know, just the way they rule the world uh, with the in-your-face attitude. And his famous quote was, Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Modern morality and manners suppress all natural instincts, keep people ignorant of the facts of nature, and make them fighting drunk on boogie tails. Ordinary morality is only for ordinary people. And we know that these stars, you know, these stars, um, they believe that they are anything but normal. They think they have been touched by God himself, that they have a legitimacy by God. Of course, that legitimacy is being um, forced on them and foisted on them and the lies and all of the smoke is being blown up their backside, not by God, but by the Freemasons. It's not only Beyonce that they have um, fighting, you know, the police, fighting um, morality, fighting common sense and fighting each other setting the world on fire. I mean, look at this. Here's an article with a news story. Hundreds protest at white power rally. Well, the white power part is kind of deceiving because it was only 12 members of a white power rally that were actually um, having a rally. 
and you had hundreds of black and white protesters protesting against them. So we don't have a problem with um, Black Panthers and black radicals at the Super Bowl and Beyonce destroying the world and making it trendy, right, to um, be a radical, to um, demolish society, to be a vandal. It's black and white. We are all being turned on each other, against each other, whenever, folks, we should be coming together for the ones that are turning us against each other using weaponized media, right? That's exactly what they're doing, folks, and it's not the Illuminati. It's not the Illuminati. It is not the Illuminati. Here you have in Austria, the uh, far-right party, the anti immigrant party, you know, those um, weaponized immigrants from ISIS that are being turned on the Western European governments. Well, now the Western European governments are fighting back, right? So you have everyone fighting against everyone else throughout the world, not only here in America, but why? Well, let me show you why. This is a letter that delineates Albert Pike's vision, okay, of a one world order. Now, this letter was apparently written by Albert Pike uh, from a vision that he had. And the letter is dated August 15th, 1871. Now, this letter, let's go ahead and, and regress one moment before I go into the letter. Who was Albert Pike? Well, Albert Pike was the Jesus, okay? He was the Jesus, the prophet of the Freemasons. He wrote uh, a very, very, um, well, let's just call it what it was, you know? It was a script for all of the chaos and destruction and apathy that is going on with the world right now. Albert Pike was an attorney, soldier, writer, and Freemason. Albert Pike is the only Confederate military officer with an outdoor statue in Washington, D.C., and here's one of his famous quotes. What we have done for ourselves alone dies with us. What we have done for others and the world remains and is immortal. A war for a great principle ennobles a nation. One man is equivalent to all creation. One man is a world in miniature. And Albert Pike was a 33rd degree Freemason, but he was the, once again, the Jesus, the prophet of all prophets, the Lord and Savior of the Freemasons to this day. Going back to the letter. Now, this letter, once again, was dated August 15th, 1871. It is commonly believed fallacy that for a short time the Pike letter to Manzini was on display in the B British Museum Library in London and that it was copied by William Carr, former intelligence officer of the Royal Canadian Navy. The British Library, now if you can believe this, which, you know, the Freemasons own and run the British Library, the British Library has confirmed in writing that such a document has never been in their possession. And I will tell you exactly why this um, denial means nothing, okay, at this point, means nothing. Furthermore, 
In Carr's book, Satan, Prince of the World, Carr includes the following footnote. The keeper of the manuscripts recently informed the author that this letter is not cataloged in the British Museum Library. It seems strange that a man of Cardinal Rodriguez, Rodriguez's knowledge should have said that it was in 1925. So we have a cardinal saying, yes, in 1925, this letter was in the British Museum Library. But what is this letter and what is the plan of the world that the weaponized media, entertainment, news, Hollywood, um, even in sports entertainment media, i.e. the Super Bowl, the First World War, as the letter delineates, and this again was a vision from Albert Pike that he wrote in a letter. The First World War must be brought about in order to permit the Illuminati to overthrow the power of the czars in Russia and of making that country a fortress of atheistic communism. Well, we know indeed that did happen. The Second World War must be fomented by taking advantage of all of the differences between the fascist and the political Zionist. This war, and this of course happened with the fascist Hitler taking on the Zionist Jews, which again are not Jews, they're Khazarians. But that being said, this war must be brought about so that Nazism is destroyed and that political Zionism be strong enough to institute a sovereign state of Israel. Of course, that happened, folks, in 1948. During the Second World War, international communism must become strong enough in order to balance Christendom, which would be then restrained, held in check, until the time when we would need it for the final social cataclysm. The final social cataclysm, folks, that's what we are enduring right now because of this letter and its implementation by the Freemasons. The Third World War must be fomented by taking advantage of the differences caused by the agitator of the Illuminati between the political Zionist and the leaders of the Islamic world. Mm -hmm. That's happening. The war must be conducted in such a way that Islam, the Muslim Arabic world, and political Zionism, the state of Israel, mutually destroy each other. Meanwhile, the two other nations, once more divided on this issue, will be constrained to fight to the point of complete physical, moral, spiritual, and economical exhaustion. We shall then unleash the nihilist. Well, what is a nihilist? Nihilism, the rejection of all religious and moral principles, often in the belief that life is meaningless. Skepticism, these are synonyms for nihilism. Skepticism, negativity, synonym, pessimism, extreme skepticism, Skepticism maintaining that nothing in the world has a real existence. The doctrine of an extreme Russian revolutionary party since 1900, which found nothing to approve in the established social order. So that's what a nihilist is. Going back to the letter, shall unleash the nihilist and the atheist, and we shall provoke a formidable social cataclysm which in all of its horror will show clearly to the nations the effect of absolute atheism, origin of savagery, and of the most bloody turmoil. Then everywhere the citizens obliged to defend themselves against the world minority of revolutionaries will exterminate those destroyers of civilizations. And the multitude disillusioned with Christianity whose deistic spirits will form that moment be without compass or direction, anxious for, a, anxious for an ideal, but without knowing where to render its adoration, will receive the true light through the universal manifestation 
of the pure doctrine of Lucifer. Is this not all happening right now? Is it not? Well, yes, it is. Any objective observer, folks, will tell you, yes, it is all happening right now. This is the reason for the weaponized media and pop stars and R&B stars and social warriors and radical feminists and George Soros and all of the destroyers of social order, of traditional values, the haters of anything good and productive in the world. This is the reason. Don't be fooled by people like Alex Jones. This is not the Illuminati, folks. The Illuminati was simply the bad cop, right? The bad cop to the good cop of Freemasonry, which is actually responsible for all of the chaos and disorder in our world for a very specific reason, and that reason is they are going along with the plan. They have went along with the plan since Albert Pike wrote this letter. I know a lot of you folks may say, wait a minute, now they said this letter was a forgery. That does not matter. This letter, if a forgery, folks, is as old as 1896. 1896. And it predicted what would happen to Russia 23 years later. 23 years later. So um, if this letter was a forgery, then you have a bunch of groups that are controlling uh, weaponized media, a bunch of groups that are controlling the puppet politicians, and a bunch of groups that are, you know, specifically making sure that the prophetic words in this letter come to fruition. And Jay-Z, Mr. Freemason, you know, don't believe what you hear, folks. Believe what you see with your lion eyes, right? Believe history. And yeah, 1896 is history. Don't believe what they say. Believe what they do. Do not believe in words. Believe in action. Because actions are so much more powerful than meaningless words. Believe what they do, not what they say. Don't believe what Alex Jones says. Alex Jones is, in my opinion, if not an agent of the Zionist, then he is an agent of the Freemasons. Hell, in my opinion, he could be a double agent of both, right? Because what do you see Alex Jones doing? You see Alex Jones not pointing out the letter, not pointing out, and I'm sure, look, Alex Jones is many things, folks. Matt Drudge is many things. Weaponized media is many things. But one thing that Alex Jones, Matt Drudge, and weaponized media, people like Sumner Rebstone and MTV, one thing they are not is stupid. Alex Jones is not stupid. He knows about this letter. He knows about the plan, but has he ever mentioned it? Well, let's say this. He might have mentioned it, but has he mentioned it in the last few years in the contextual um, association with Black Lives Matter, with George Soros, with social warriors, with radical feminism? No, he has not. He has kept his lips tightly, tightly shut on this. And he does know about it, I guarantee. Because like I said, Matt Drudge and Alex Jones, one thing they are not is stupid. But you have Matt Jones, you have Matt, <laughs> Matt Jones. Boy, that's a Freudian slip if I ever heard one, right? You have Matt Drudge, okay? 
headlining the stories. The very next day, you have Alex Jones, or a lot of times the same days, you have Alex Jones targeting, accentuating these stories. You know, making sure that everyone knows about this, right? Making sure that they have their spin and their spin coincides with the Freemasonry diversion of their plan in the letter, right? 1871 letter. What else happened in 1871? What else happened in eight? Oh, yes, that's right. In 1871, the United States Corporation was brought into existence. That's right. Not the Republic of the United States of America, but the United States Corporation in the District of Criminals, Washington, D.C., was brought about in 1871. So, um, you know, like I said, folks, don't believe the lying words of Alex Jones. Don't believe the deceptive headlines of Matt Drudge. Use this channel, but don't just believe me either. Use this channel and other channels. Use your ability to filter out all of the lies and deceptions and figure out the truth for yourself. And the truth and the proof is in the pudding, as they say. And this pudding was made by the Freemasons and Albert Pike and his facilitators like J.C. and Beyonce Knowles. Um, I will certainly leave all links to this story, to all of the stories, to all of the headlines, to the letters, to the biographies, to Jay-Z, to Albert Pike, to Aleister Crowley, you know, him and Jay-Z were uh, simpatico, right? Do what thou wilt. Do what thou wilt indeed. Well, I would ask you folks to do as the Father commands. Do not do, and you know what the Father commands. You know right from wrong. Let me tell you something. It's something that I am really, really, really just sick to death of. I am sick to death of all of these uh, Black Lives Matters, Alex Joneses of the world, the um, white power people, the black power people, the Black Panthers, the radicals of every color. I am so sick to death of them trying to turn us against each other. Because let me tell you this, folks. You know that I live in a sanctuary city, right? I have made many videos trying to combat the lie of illegal immigration. I am surrounded by illegals. They aren't just here to work. They are here to join in the destruction of the United States of America, as directed by Albert Pike in 1871, and as fomented by people like Beyonce Knowles and Jay-Z. Okay? They are there to turn us against each other. Over the last three months, and I don't know if this is because people like Donald Trump or I don't know why, but something big is happening. For six years, I lived in the same place. For six years, I have been surrounded by illegals. Over the last three months, every illegal that was in my building is now gone. A couple of weeks ago, I had a black man and a white woman, biracial couple with biracial kids, move in right below me. I was ecstatic. Yesterday, I had a black family move in, uh, catty corner, you know, perpendicular, I guess, catty corner, to my apartment, and they live right next to the family below me, and I went up and introduced myself like I do with everyone, and I was so pleased to meet these people of color. 
you know, because I started talking to them and I have friends of color as well. And I told them, I am so glad you are here. You know, I am so glad that I have Americans. It does not matter what color you are. It matters where you were born. And it matters uh, how you were raised. And one thing that black, white, and brown, and yellow, and red Americans have in common is our American culture. Are our traditional values. And they are no different. You know, the, they, the blacks do not hate me. I do not hate blacks. If you sit down and talk to a black family, a biracial family, not the kids that are being weaponized, not the kids that their brains have been destroyed and they have been turned into, um, you know, social warrior drones, right? And they don't even know why. They don't even know why they're doing what they're doing. If you try to question them, they basically uh, tell you, I don't know. I don't know why I'm doing what I'm doing. Well, they're brainwashed. They think it's popular to um, turn against traditional values, to turn on anything good and productive in society. It's popular to them, right? MTV has told them. Jay-Z and Beyonce has showed them that it's popular, it's cool to be a vandal, it's cool to be a social warrior, it's cool to burn down America if you think that America has wronged you. Well, it's not cool, it's not right, it's not productive. But what it is, is completing the plan that Albert Pike put into motion in 1871, World War I, World War II, and now World War III, we are on the precipice, folks, of World War III. We are on the precipice of the world and the majority of the world being depopulated. This is their plan. It's not the plan of the Illuminati, folks. The Illuminati were just the bad cops to the Freemasons' good cops. The public face of the Freemasons, what is it, folks? It's all of these buildings. It's the guys driving around in the little cars with the fezes, you know, and back of the cars waving to everybody. They put on a good face. And they made sure that we have known that the Illuminati are the bad guys, which they are, but the Freemasons are the ultimate evil. They are the ones that are directing, paying for the destruction of the world and the majority of the world's population. Again, I will leave links as well as screen caps to all of the documentation that I have provided and that I have talked about. I would beg you folks to not think that black people are your enemy. To not think that um, anybody of any other color than you are is your enemy just because they're another color. Sit down and talk to them, folks. The enemies of America are coming from the outside of America. They are being directed by uh, loyalists like George Soros and Jay-Z. But make no bones about it. Just because somebody is a different color from you does not specifically make them your enemy. The content of their character does, not the color of their skin. This is Joe Wayne with the Anti-COINTELPRO Show and InstinctForSurvival.com. Good day.
Think of this guy as being a, um, a Satanist, as being part of the Illuminati, but no, nothing could be further from the truth. Aleister Crowley, just like Jay-Z, was a Freemason star. Here's one of his famous quotes. Um, it's actually the quote that um, Jay-Z loves to... Um, you know, put in the face of the world because these uh, Freemasons are really, really arrogant with their um, lies and their deception and with their, um, you know, just the way they rule the world uh, with the in-your-face attitude. And his famous quote was, Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Modern morality and manners suppress all nest, uh, in a tizzy about Beyonce Knowles and her new video that is directing all of our young daughters because, as you know, the pop diva that is controlled by Jay-Z directly, not by the Illuminati, not by the Illuminati, not by the Illuminati. Get it straight, folks. No. JC doesn't work for the Illuminati. He works for the Freemasons. And his weaponized drone, his weaponized entertainment drone, we know as Beyonce Knowles, is doing the dirty work for the Freemasons as directed by her husband, Jay-Z. Well, if you don't believe me, Maybe you'll believe um, this K-pop star's article, Natural Instincts, keep people ignorant of the facts of nature and make them fighting drunk on boogie tails. Ordinary morality is only for ordinary people. And we know that these stars, you know, these stars... Um, they believe that they are anything but normal. They think they have been touched by God himself, that they have a legitimacy by God. Of course, that legitimacy is being um, forced on them and foisted on them, and the lies and all of the smoke is being blown up their backside, not by God, but by the Freemasons. It's not only Beyonce that they have that delineates Jay-Z's Illuminati connections. And if you don't believe K-pop, well, maybe you will believe your lying eyes. Here is a picture of Jay-Z looking dead at the camera as he, he is in one of his meetings with the uh, black Freemasons, okay? And he is one of the stars of black Freemasonry. Now, I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen Jay-Z with the uh, jacket on it that says, do what thou wilt, right? Now, that jacket and that saying comes from another star, superstar of Freemasonry. And I'm sure a lot of you um, really... This is Joe Wayne with the anti Intel Pro Show and InstinctForSurvival.com. Beyonce, 
Oh my gosh, there she goes again. There she goes again, folks. Uh, I don't know if you have seen the um, lead article in Drudge this morning yet. Uh, I know Alex Jones has because he is je 